Here's a picture of the list for everything I wanted to plan to do today. I basically finished everything. So, wait, wait, wait. Let's just rewind a bit. <laughs> Welcome back guys to another video and you guessed it, a day in the life. Okay, okay, it's not just a day in the life. I am going to be giving you tips, useful tips that I've started to use when exams start creeping up for me. I did start the day really late because I found out that I get more stuff done in the night. So I didn't really mind if I started studying at 12 or 1 o'clock in the day. I did start doing something new in the holidays which was that whatever I went over on a particular day start of the next day I would review that and I'll go into how I do that later in the video but like I found that to be really useful and yeah I would highly recommend you guys try it because it really helped me a lot. Alright today is the last day of the holidays so the plan for today is to basically catch up on all three subjects bio chem and maths what you guys just saw me doing right now was basically i just reviewed everything i memorized yesterday mainly for biology see right there um just did all of that a couple of pages of that and the reason why i do that is because it's technically proven that if you write stuff down then it helps you with memory so like i don't just want to revise by just rereading i actually want to help it stick in my head you're probably thinking why did it in pencil that's just because like it helps you know when you're doing rough work just doing it quickly that's why i think as well um, and so let me just show you what the plan for the rest of the day is so as you can see right there those are the chapters for chemistry and those are the chapters for biology just want to finish up chapter five for both of the subjects today and you're probably thinking i finished all of the chapters so it must be light work but the thing is though the chapters i did at the start i did them like ages like ages ago so yeah that's one annoying thing that the chapters that i did like at the start like i've did them so such a long time ago that I'm probably gonna have to go over them again yeah that's another tip i'll give you guys for revision like tracking your stuff tracking your chapters and what you're gonna do in a day writing them down like, all those things down to make it so much easier as compared to like just keeping it all in your head because then it feels like you've got so much work to do not just for today but like when you're trying to think ahead so writing it down not you don't have to write it down on a whiteboard like on a simple piece of paper uh, all your chapters it makes it so much easier i get on with the work i finish biology and chemistry and the rest of the day is probably going to be more relaxing As you probably will see on my laptop, I do use a five minute timer every time I'm going over a page because I feel like that if that nature of a deadline approaching me wasn't there, then I always seem to drag it on to the point that it'll have been half an hour since I started studying and I'm still struggling to memorize the same page. So basically, you saw that I finished the chemistry chapter, but then I wasn't able to do biology as well because I want to have some food. So I'm going to finish uh, biology right now at that chapter, which is only about two pages. And then after that, I'm going to go out to play some football. So let's go. Yeah, I completely feel that transition. But anyway, I got into doing some more biology content, which to be honest, isn't that hard. It's just more deeper into everything that we learn in GCSEs. But obviously, I know it's the exam questions that really test your knowledge. Alright, so I finally finished uh, chapter 5 for biology and I ended it with the two most complicated pages in my opinion which were about the HIV virus and AIDS. Anyway, I finished that and I'm really happy because I wasn't expecting to finish it this early in the day because trust me, in the holidays I made such a big mistake which I told you guys to avoid which was that at the start of the day I had this much planned and then I'll be stretching it to 11 and only completing about this amount of stuff. Glad that I didn't make the same mistake today. Um, so usually during this time, I would go to the gym for an hour in the holidays. But today is something different. 
Today I'm going out to play football with my friends. So that should be good. And I'll catch you after that. Um, we'll just wrap the day up with mats, which I barely touched. So yeah, catch you after that. Now, another obvious tip I would give you guys is that whenever you plan your day, don't just dedicate revision to every single hour of the day, you know? Put something that you enjoy doing and give yourself plenty of time to do that because then you won't even feel like you're revising that much. I got back home a bit later than usual so I just decided to finish up with something light and it's a maths homework. Comment down below when your mid-year tests start because my ones start on the 22nd and I feel like I need to do way more revision for maths. Okay, so that's the end of the day. I finished my maths homework and I can't really show you right now because it's on my phone, but here's a picture of all the things I plan to do for the day. And I basically completed all of them. So I'm really happy about that. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you liked it. If you've got exams coming up, then good luck for those. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.